I'm in Utah in the greater Zion area backpacking with some of the biggest names on YouTube. Uh, we're gonna have a little bit of, or a lot of bit of big scenery, a little bit of gear talk, and I'm gonna hit these guys with some, some questions that I just need some answers to. You can an answer completely honestly. Okay. I will not be offended. Really interested to know. Whoa, this is an ambush? <laughs> but first things first, let's get on the trail. After a short jaunt from the parking lot, we began our trip at the Water Canyon Trailhead. Now, I didn't plan this trip, and in true Bryce fashion, I didn't even look at a map. All I knew about day one of this hike is that it would be five to six miles to camp. You know, I'm thinking that's not bad. We're in a canyon. It's gonna be flat, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Shop guy. <laughs> I actually asked Taysen before we started if it was going to be flat, and he replied, eh, Utah flat. Oh, that's Whatever that meant. Still going up very steep. I thought we were close to the top, but it doesn't really look like we are. And if you're wondering why we all have the same clothing <laughs> and the same backpacks on, the trip was put together and all the gear was provided to us by Outdoor Vitals. So, special thanks to them. It turned out it was hours of Utah flat and that proved to be a little challenging for me not because of the elevation but because of something that I was not prepared for and one of the hardest things I've ever had to deal with on a backpacking trip we're getting our, our money's worth on this one five or six miles today which I thought would be really easy <laughs> but considering we haven't done anything but go uphill for hours now it's definitely technical. Look at that fake smile right there. What a faker. We'll get to that. Beautiful conditions out here. Should be a perfect day of hiking, but I'm actually having, and I didn't even want to talk about it, but let you guys in on it. I have horrible sciatic pain going down my right leg. Uh, it, it stems from a bulging disc I have in my back. If you guys remember a couple years ago, I had um, some major back issues and that's what it was. I'm kind of actually limping right now. Kind of? Yeah, that's an understatement. I'm trying not to complain. <laughs> uh, it, it definitely hurts though, which is a different, different dynamic for me. Like I said, I'm trying not to bitch about it, but I continue to talk. We continued over to a little spot where we filtered water since we were going to be staying at a dry camp. And oh, at this point in the video, I still haven't told anybody the pain I've been having and watching Eric run up this rock face getting the shots that I should be getting kind of made me want to trip him. But in in a nice way. Still going up, man. I'm trying not to say anything, but this feels like stabbing pain in my right butt cheek. I basically, when I'm going uphill especially, I literally cannot put my right heel on the ground. So I have to go up everything like on my toe, on the right side, and it's just wreaking havoc on my muscles right now. Just imagine tippy toe up a mountain. So gorgeous out here though. We're, we're getting there though. We're almost to the top. The domes. Straight up that gray wall. Our edge was the thousand dollar edge. White domes. You're right. This is false summit number seven, guys. Yes. <laughs> number seven. Brigham's up there. I <laughs> don't really want to ask him if this is really the top. I remember seeing pictures of this. It's really cool to see it up close. Uh, Getting a little windy up here, but I welcome it because it is hot today. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what that was. It was your worst nightmare. <laughs> You're gonna think about it tonight. <laughs> you guys ready for a different view? Yeah. Check it out. Syntax 77. The classic rock. Flesh and blood. <laughs> so years ago watching YouTube, the GOAT, one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, 
Sarah from Syntax 77. Couldn't make it, but the man himself is here from Syntax 77. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, good to see you. I like her too. <laughs> My fangirl moment of actually hiking with Syntax 77 was cut short and interrupted by Justin Outdoors and some weird shit. It's gonna play a game of name that scat. Just name full on picks it up with his hand. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's well, smell. Bite it. Smell it? Yeah, it makes me dizzy just looking at it. There's no scent. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit like right. wet on this side. I bet oh. Derek would know. Honestly, he would know. <laughs> My mistake. Uh, All right, here with Justin Outdoors, the backpacker that might make me feel the most inadequate. So I went and did a uh, video on the, the new Nemo Extreme tensor pad in a, a blistering 20 degree Fahrenheit weather and then I get on uh, get on the YouTubes and I see this guy oh I'm gonna go test mine out on a glacier how long does it take you to drive to like uh, actually camp on a glacier like that not too far like a couple hours oh yeah it, it takes me a little bit longer than that <laughs> the truth is I've never seen a glacier before but I wasn't about to tell him that not bad, this'll do. Man, I feel like a knife is jamming into my ass right now. <laughs> oh man, it hurts so bad. This is probably the most injured I've ever been on a backpacking trip. And I don't think I'm gonna tell anybody. <laughs> so we'll see. I'm definitely not my jolly running around self today, that's for sure. Nonetheless, absolutely gorgeous out here. We're just spread all over the place right now. Some people got some really cool sights. Sand is holding the stakes in pretty solid. Happy about that. Really easy setup for the 40th tent here, the one person. Uh, excited to sleep in this thing again, like this tent. We gathered around the non-existent campfire and talk shop and, oh, and then we decided to walk a half mile more. There's a great view only a half mile away. We're all feeling great. A half mile, my ass. All right. That was a, a good night's sleep. I didn't sleep really good at the Airbnb before this, so I was kind of hoping that I would just zonk out last night, and I pretty much did until 3.30 in the morning. I just kind of kept thinking, like, any stretches I could do to kind of stretch out my back, and I just started doing, like, uh, yoga poses in here for probably, like, 20, 20 minutes or so. Gonna get packed up here. Uh, use this new quilt from Outdoor Vitals last night. It's the uh, Stormloft Zero Degree. I uh, dropped down to 32 degrees last night Fahrenheit, and I was toasty, toasty warm. The sleeping pad I used was the Outdoor Vitals Oblivion. This thing is shiny. Oh, it still hurts. be 100% honest it's it's really hard not to think about the pain right now uh, it's uh, it's got me in a weird mood it's like every step it's it's like all I can think about I, I can't hardly think about filming and I'm not really gonna set the camera down and do like the walk by shots and stuff it's just like I just can't do that uh, I might do it a couple times today <laughs> could be a lot worse uh, I'm kind of lucky that I, I know what it is but I don't know. Let's get packed up. After breakfast, we all stood around just having a jolly old time, and I thought since I was feeling so good that maybe I will go trip Eric, or at least kick him in the shins. All right, now that I'm recording, I'm here with Eric Hansen. You guys might know him from Epic Trails on TV and his YouTube channel, but uh, I think everybody at home is really interested to know what is it that Eric Hansen does in the off season when he's not breaking the rules in America's national whoa, parks. Whoa, whoa, this is an ambush interview? <laughs> you, you don't have to answer that. I just I just had to get that jab in. All right, so all, jo all jokes aside. Severe chest pains all night long. Dan's not doing good. I think got chest pain. I think we need to call somebody. All jokes aside, the incident in the Grand Canyon with Dan Becker, was that planned? <laughs> well, <laughs> wait, what, what was what planned? The, the incident or the trip? <laughs> Because very little was planned on that trip. Very little uh, planning. Yeah, no. Okay, but, that's uh, that's what I was hoping to hear. Because yeah. Dan's Dan's a good buddy of mine. I wasn't trying to kill him. I wasn't trying to like 
make it easier for yeah. us other YouTubers to climb to the top? Yeah, we uh, we we believe you. Turn. Hold up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. 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 We got drama. Everybody We're lost. Camera's out. Drama. We're all going to die. Anyway, let's see how much. Okay. Play things? Yeah, whatever. Those are the wing car. The face wings. Then my other 15 degree bag. All right, here with Miranda. I always want to say Miranda in the wild. <laughs> Miranda goes outside. That's right. That's what it is now. <laughs> big, big fan. Despite not knowing the name correctly, <laughs> but okay, I I've been asking a couple people. I really am curious, and you can an answer completely honestly. Okay. I will not be offended. Okay. Have you ever heard of me before two days ago? No. <laughs> I don't even think I know what the name of your channel is. <laughs> it's my name. Um, Wait, but I've seen you comment on videos before. Uh, I don't think you have. Maybe not my video. <laughs> oh, okay. So, uh, where's your cameraman at? He is at home. Actually, no, I think he's like hanging out with a buddy of his in Seattle somewhere. You gave him the, the day off yeah, or the, like, we, the weekend here, off? I'll watch you around. That's Scram. cool. <laughs> I, gave, I gave my cameraman the day off too. <laughs> Golly! For what? <laughs> All right, Gordon's here hiking behind me down this little canyon. Um, fellow mi Midwesterner, yeah. right? Wisconsin? It's got it. It's nice. Um, I was kind of hoping you'd be a little shorter, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like I was going somewhere with that. She gone! Still going down, getting really, really steep right now. Uh, feeling pretty good on the, uh, the pain going down my leg. It's getting a little bit better. It's still there, but I actually confided in Gordon yesterday and told him what was going on so gear wise everything is doing honestly like perfect on this trip i don't think i would change anything except for i probably brought too much stuff this is getting overgrown now looks like ohio Shit everywhere I'm just feeling so like thankful today that whatever was going on with my back actually keeps getting better today. I didn't feel like filming. My mood was down. Not only that, but if you guys have followed me, you know I went through this uh, a year or so ago, over a year ago, to where I almost had to have back surgery and I felt horrible for eight months. And I was just really down. I just felt like somebody punched me in the gut because I, I was like, man, is this, is this gonna be my life now for the next eight months? Doing so much better feeling and morale. Morale is intensified like crazy. I just felt like I was, I wasn't myself yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Jason. Yes, sir. I gotta tell you a secret. What did you, did you put a rock in my pack? Yeah, I put, put at a least a 10 pound rock in that pack this morning. Feel heavier? No, I'm just, I feel like I'm <laughs> no. about to learn something that. No, so, I don't know if you realize this, maybe you did, but yesterday was the most agonizing pain I've ever been in on a backpacking trip in my life. The audience knows my disc was pushing on a sciatic nerve all the way down my leg. I was tiptoeing up everything. Oh, jeez. I was, dude, I was hurting. Dang. And I did some yoga in the tent this morning and it's just gotten better throughout the whole hike. So you didn't kill me, even though you, we tried. You hid that well. Ooh. Yeah, and then where you got you some magic, uh, magic yeah. cannon water. Matt, it's the magic cannon. Cannon? Cannon. Cannon Mountain magic water. Dude, well, you hid that well, I had no idea. Yeah, well, I didn't want to be the bummer of the trip. So thanks for planning Utah a good flat. one. Utah flat all the way up. <laughs> it's definitely Utah flat. <laughs> 